The sustainability of our food system is one of the most important issues we face as a society. Sustainable food systems don't just affect food loss and waste within supply chains, but also greenhouse gas emissions and climate change concerns. In this video, we're going to cover four ways to build a more sustainable food system. But before we get into it, if you would like to see more videos like this one, hit the like and subscribe buttons so you don't miss any of the great content coming from Post Harvest. The world's global population is currently forecasted to reach 10 billion by the year 2050. With this increase, the population growth will directly affect the demand for food, which means we would need roughly 56% more food supply than we are currently producing. If this lack of food supply, also known as the calorie gap, between the current amount of food production and forecasted demand isn't met, there will be some serious repercussions. At this very moment, 68% of our fresh water is used for agriculture and about 37% of the planet's land mass, not including Antarctica, is used for food production. Here's the first way we can help. Optimize agricultural land use. Boosting yields on dry lands for improved water and soil management can greatly reduce energy and water consumption, allowing for farmers to grow more whilst using less. If we become more strategic about using our land more efficiently, we can achieve much higher agricultural yields and returns that will be able to feed the growing population without needing to compromise biodiversity. Improve efficiency throughout the supply chain. Food waste is an alarming enough problem on its own not to mention the number of resources that are also wasted during the process. In the United States alone, nearly 4.2 trillion gallons of water are required across 30 million acres of cropland that grows our produce, and that is all sent out to landfills. There are many different approaches and ideas by different companies that seek to reduce food waste across the supply chain. And even the United Nations has created specific sustainability goals. Shift to more sustainable diets. Reducing food waste isn't the only way to help create a more sustainable food system. Another way is for us as humans to actually shift to healthier and more sustainable diets overall, especially diets with less meat. The meat production industry is full of inefficiencies, which places it at the top of the list for the intensity of resources used. Red meat, particularly beef and lamb, are especially high impact and cause a lot of environmental damage. If the demand for meat decreases, less land will be required to grow animal feed and more land overall can be used to grow food for human consumption. Request action from governments and representatives. All of the previously mentioned strategies lead us to our last point, and that is that everyone can contribute to sustainability. Consumers just like you and I can play a small part, which helps create some major change. There are a few ways that we can do this. One of these ways is to write to your local and state politicians. We can all collectively urge these representatives to adopt new and more environmentally friendly policies around farming and as a result, help us get one step closer to feeding more people. Another way is to educate ourselves and then implement based on our knowledge. We've got a bunch of free courses available on postharvest.com if you'd like to learn more about going green. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for regular content. Together, we can help the world go a little bit greener.